In this video, I'm going to show you multi-key keyboard shortcuts in Reaper 7. Now this feature has been added to Reaper 7. If you're using an older version, this functionality isn't going to work for you. But in a previous video, I showed you how we could use alternative keyboard shortcuts in Reaper. But to review, I've already set up some toolbar buttons to switch to alternative keyboard shortcuts, which we can see in the actions menu. Right over here, we have the main section, and now we have alternative sections one through 16, which means we can use different keyboard shortcuts for different workflows just by switching to alternate sections. And I created in that other video, some toolbar buttons to switch the functionality. So normally if we type S, over our items, it's gonna split our items. Or if we click into our ruler and type M, it's gonna create markers. But we could change that functionality by hitting these toolbar buttons. Let's use the second one for alternative two. Notice the toolbar turns on, letting us know we're using alternate two. So now I could select tracks, type S. Now it'll toggle solo those tracks. Hit it again, it unsolos them, type M, and we can mute and unmute those tracks, which I set up in a previous video. Different keyboard shortcuts to do that. But we could also do this momentarily. Let's right click and customize this toolbar and change the action down here from switching to alternate two, change the action, and we'll use momentary switching to alternative two. Save it. And now this toolbar button is only gonna work momentarily. Click it, it goes on, then it turns off after one second. If you wanna change how long it switches, go to the preferences, choose the keyboard panel and change it right here. It defaults to one second, which is usually long enough. So now if I hit this button, it changes for one second. So if I select my drums, hit the button and type S, it solos these tracks. But if I hit S again over the items, now it splits those items. So it already works temporarily. So you're probably thinking, what's the purpose of it working this way? Well, the best part of this feature is you could use multi-key keyboard shortcuts to trigger actions. So let's go back to our actions. And we can see down here, I set up keyboard shortcuts to switch to the alternate keyboard shortcuts. We could also switch it over here momentarily. So let's go to alternate two. Let's give it a keyboard shortcut. I'm gonna choose B as the key I'm not currently using. And now if I type S, it's gonna split our items. Or if I go to the ruler, type M, it creates markers. But now we can select our tracks, type B and then S, and it solos the tracks instead. But again, it's temporary. So if I type S again, it splits our items. And if we type BS again, it unsolos those tracks. Or we could type BM and it mutes those tracks. Type it again to unmute them. So very quickly, we can use multi-key or two keys to trigger those actions. And I find this most useful when using our number keys. But right now, if I create some markers, by default, if I type one, our play cursor goes to marker one. Or if we type two, marker two, three, and four. But let's say I wanna use those number keys to do other things. We could do this by using multi-key keyboard shortcuts. So let's go back to our actions and let's switch this to alternate two. Although you could use any alternate keys you want. We'll use this one as it's already set up to be turned on with the B key. Then we'll go to the filter and type in solo track toggle. And right over here, we could solo our tracks based on the number. Track one, two, and so on. Let's assign under alternate two our number keys for these functions or actions. So we'll go to one, we use the one key, 
and two, and so on. And now we set up one through nine, but it's only gonna work with the alternate two keyboard section. So now, if I type one, it goes to marker one, two, and three. But if we type B1, it's gonna solo track one. Type it again to unsolo it, do it very quickly for track two, for snare, track three, track four, and so on. Unsolo it the same way. If you wanna solo the bass very quickly, notice it's on track five and we can hit B5. And now we're soloing the bass. Hit B5 again to unsolo it. So using just two keys, we can get completely different actions as we could still use the number keys to move our cursor to different markers. One, two, three, and four. But if we want to solo track one, hit B1, and we're soloing our kick or our snare and unsolo it with the same keys. And we do the same thing for muting, but we'll put it in a different section. Let's use alternate three, change this to mute, and assign keyboard shortcuts for this using the same numbers. And now we can use our number keys one through nine to toggle mute our tracks based on their number. And let's switch this back to main, go back to the main section and assign the momentary for all three to be the C key, which again is a key I'm not currently using. I could type one to go to marker one, two, and so on. Type B1 to solo my kick or any of the other tracks using their track number and unsolo them. And type C1 to mute the kick or track one or two or three or four or so on and unmute them the same way. We want to solo the bass, which is on track five, hit B5, we're soloing the bass. Hit it again, it's unsoloed. If you want to mute our kick and snare, C1 and C2 on track one and track two. So using multiple keys, we could trigger these actions very easily while still using our number keys to choose our markers. But these are just a couple of examples of how we can use multiple or multi-key keyboard shortcuts in Reaper 7. Obviously, you're gonna find the best ones for you and your specific workflow. But having the ability to use multiple keys allows us to create so many more keyboard shortcuts than just using one key at a time or using modifier keys, as you can run out of those pretty quickly. So that's pretty much it. That's multi-key keyboard shortcuts in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.